Have you ever thought that feeling unfulfilled, resentful, and frustrated was just a normal part of life? According to Meg, the author of the book, it doesn't have to. In this book, the author shares a guide on how to overcome self-limiting beliefs and use adversity to your own advantage. Lesson 1. You are the one preventing yourself from living your dream. Escape the suffering by shifting your mindset. Suffering occurs when you make external factors responsible for your happiness. Shifting your negative thought patterns requires confronting your ego, the part of your personality that supports your unhealthy beliefs and reactions. Your ego is survival-based. It can protect you when your amygdala, the part of your brain triggered by fear and stress activates, but you shouldn't let it control you. Learn to decipher when your ego is in control and to tap into the inner states of your higher self, which focuses on learning and creating. These states include inspiration, exhilaration, presence, trust, wholeness, peace, love, joy, and gratitude. Have you ever experienced seeing someone going though the same experience another one has and having a totally different outcome? How can it be? Well, let me tell you, it doesn't happen by change, it happens by mindset. Let me put this story as an example. After a painful breakup with her boyfriend, a well-known pop singer found herself drowning in sadness, stress, and resentment. Fueled by these negative emotions, her ego took control. She decided to shield herself from future heartbreak by vowing not to trust anyone again. This mindset led her to believe that every man was like her ex-boyfriend. As a result, she tolerated unhealthy situations, turned to alcohol as a coping mechanism, and spiraled into a self-destructive lifestyle. In the face of a heart-wrenching breakup, another pop singer with the same level of fame goes through the same experience with the same man. She chooses to experience the initial waves of sadness and stress. Instead of succumbing to these emotions, she allowed her higher self to guide her. She chose to acknowledge her feelings, shed a few tears, and then rose from the emotional wreckage. Determined to learn and grow, she shared her experience with the world, inspiring others through vulnerability. Harnessing her creativity, she turned her pain into art, creating a powerful song that resonated with countless people. This transformative approach not only helped her achieve greater success, but also served as a source of strength for those facing similar struggles. Through this process, she identified the lessons from her failed relationship, setting boundaries for the future, and vowing not to tolerate mistreatment. By letting her higher self take control, she emerged from the breakup not as a victim, but as a resilient and empowered individual, ready to navigate healthier relationships in the future. Both external situations were the same, both experienced a breakup, event with the same man, but the outcomes are different because of what each of them chooses to take from that experience. When experiencing struggles and having thoughts that led to certain decisions, ask whether your ego or higher self is in control. Lesson 2. Overcome your self-limiting beliefs and choose to create and learn. Waking up means realizing that you control your own life. Dr. Barry Mordlon explains that your beliefs create a matrix, shaping your reality. To change it, challenge limiting beliefs, choose joy, and recognize your achievements. Embrace continuous learning, even from perceived failures, for better decision-making and a fulfilling future. When you shape your thoughts about your life, you shape your present and your future. Actively choose to view any adverse situations or key moments you face as neutral, rather than negative, treating them as learning opportunities. With this mindset shift, things you used to view as challenges will become easier, which means you're leveling up or growing. Lesson 3. Your thoughts shape your reality, so question them rigorously. The author talks about different types of paradigms and the importance of be aware of them, since they dictate our feelings and actions. Fear-based paradigm. These are paradigms trigger feelings of powerlessness, a tendency to blame others, and a desire to engage in escapist behaviors. Sarah always feared failure. When she didn't get the lead role, she blamed everyone, feeling powerless. Instead of trying again, she escaped into her comfort zone, missing opportunities for growth. Duty-based paradigm. They prompt you to avoid conflict and prioritize security. Jake avoided confronting his friend about hurtful comments, fearing conflict. 
He prioritized security over expressing his feelings, but the unspoken tension affected their friendship. Achievement-based paradigm. These spur you to seek external validation. Amy constantly sought approval from others. When her project received no praise, she felt unworthy. Her happiness depended on external validation, making her susceptible to disappointment. Integrity-based paradigm. Best support cultivating inner joy as you grow your self-belief and compassion for others. Mark embraced failure as part of learning, cultivating inner joy. Believing in himself and showing compassion for others, he focused on personal growth rather than external judgments. Always avoid the following thought pattern. Assuming bad intentions when people mess up, doing so is an engaging in confirmation bias. Your brain will do ITS best to only seek information that confirms what you already believe and falling into extreme or judgmental thinking. This can lead to experiencing cognitive distortions, such as catastrophizing. Be aware of your thoughts. You are the only guardian. Lesson 4. Find the self-love and strength to act with integrity and combat resistance. It's okay to do something you've never done. Go ahead and say something you would never normally say. You're the new you. Once you change how you think, do things that inspire you. People might be surprised, but that's okay. Focus on living more purposefully and doing what the smartest version of yourself would. For example, I've met a boy once who found himself stuck in a 9 to 5 job while nurturing a deep-seated desire to pursue his childhood passion for art. He couldn't shake off the conscious thought that dictated, I need to stick to this job because it aligns with my skills and market demands, he said, as an excuse to evade pursuing his passion. The belief that he wasn't proficient in art lingered as a self-imposed concept, hindering progress. Once he became aware of these limiting thoughts, he consciously acknowledged, I may not be an excellent painter yet, but I can start learning and strive to be the best I can be. This shift in mindset marked the beginning of his journey to change his reality. Despite his newfound awareness, he hesitated to make a move in showing his art to the world, but he kept improving. Nevertheless, as he dedicated his free time to painting committing at least twice a week, he realized the immense potential for growth. With time, he honed his skills, surprising even himself. A stroke of luck occurred when a friend, connected to a gallery owner, noticed his work. This led to an invitation to showcase his art in a gallery celebration. The response exceeded expectations, with enthusiastic comments and even attempts to purchase his pieces. The positive reception served as a catalyst, prompting him to reevaluate his life. Eventually, he made the bold decision to quit his 9 to 5 job and fully immerse himself in the world of art. This story underscores a crucial lesson. To change one's reality, one must first become aware of the thoughts impeding action. Once this awareness is achieved, it becomes imperative to break free from self-limiting beliefs and take proactive steps. The narrative serves as a testament to the unpredictable and rewarding outcomes that can unfold when one dares to pursue their passion. But remember, to change your reality you must first be aware of the thoughts that are impeding you from taking those actions. Once you are aware, break the self-limiting beliefs and start taking action, you never know what might happen. Lesson 5. Embrace 10 strategies to keep momentum as you upgrade your life. There are some strategies the author consider you should embrace to keep momentum in your life. 1. Don't take yourself too seriously. Keep your sense of humor, instead of lashing out at others and blaming them for your failures. 2. Meditate. Try to meditate for at least 10 minutes per day. 3. Practice gratitude. Identify things in your life you feel grateful for each day to help remind yourself of the best uses of your time and what you'd like to cultivate. 4. Take care of yourself. Take time for activities that restore your energy, such as yoga. 5. Get coaching. Consider hiring a coach to help keep you accountable or connect with a friend on a similar journey and help keep one another honest and focused. 6. Protect your energy. Stop feeling guilty about not meeting people's demands in non-mutualistic relationships. If listening to your friends complain non-stop feels exhausting, for example, then create boundaries and stop doing it. 7. Celebrate your wins. Reward yourself for your small victories. 8. Do what inspires you. Do activities that contribute to your own sense of inner peace, such as walking in the woods or embracing spirituality in a form that appeals to you. 9. Don't fear challenges. Life's challenges have a lot to teach you and can be exhilarating as you work to navigate them. 
Once you commit to your self-transformation journey and shift into more positive behaviors and thought patterns, you'll notice the ripple effect as the benefits of doing this work begin to permeate multiple areas of your life. Trust that the universe has your back.